cost of living in Ireland, how it's affected me uh, and others around me is that a lot of people have had to like kind of change what they could call a home in Dublin and go back down to where they're from in their, their natural homeland of Ireland. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but the job opportunities down there are not the same for their certain sector. Um, they feel that they've made a, a new home and made new friends up here that they feel like they've had to leave behind. Whilst it's in the same country, the cost of travel alone around Ireland can be very monumental for those. If it's not with a car, like with petrol increase, you have the, the strikes of buses, you have the strikes of trains, and even the prices of travelling has in, increased significantly. The main thing that I would hope for is that they do something about the, you know, the housing situation um, and about for first-time buyers, because at the moment the only support for first-time buyers is in relation to um, new builds and the new builds aren't affordable. I hope, you know, for uh, like a lot of people at the moment uh, that we're kind of not going to be increasing sort of prices for housing because, you know, already that's a big, huge sort of problem. And, um, you know, Dublin is, you know, kind of squeezing out a lot of people and it's going to lose a lot of character uh, out of that. Um, <laughs> I would certainly sort of hope, as they say, uh, drink being the, the, the curse of the working class, uh, that uh, it wouldn't go up too high. <laughs> more of a change in like let's say social care settings like I feel like um, that sector in Ireland is very neglected especially when it comes to like mental health resources there's not enough like investment into it so many suicide rates are sky high mental illness is sky high I feel like yeah also there's a housing crisis as well but I feel like um, we're all aware of the housing crisis but but when it comes to like literally after the pandemic, especially in terms of people's mental health, I feel like, yeah, there needs to be more of an investment into like social care settings, mental health. One of my main aspirations would be that the government uh, put a substantial amount of money into enriching uh, working class areas through the arts, um, whether it be theatre, music, social centres. Um, I think that uh, to use the arts as a functional tool to enrich uh, working class areas is, is an area that should be uh, prioritised um, and apart from that uh, it's the general concerns that most people would have um, in terms of class in this country and the allocation of funds.